Well, I thought that you would find this interesting. The first seven jurors that have been uh, selected to serve on Trump's case. Um, if nothing else, you're about to find out why social media, print media, and the media at large is so vital to our constitutional republic. It's Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. I'm Stuart Allister. From ABC News, who are the first seven jurors in Trump's historic criminal trial? The jury is currently composed of four males and three females. Um, like I said, I thought that you may find this interesting, um, that you would want to know who's actually presiding over your preferred candidate. That is, those of you out there who actually support Donald Trump. Um, I am, I am, it is sad that places like the New York Times, okay, has such a large sway over our electorate and how those so-called journalists who are actually activists, they're not journalists. Catherine Herridge is a journalist. Matt Taibbi is a journalist. Uh, Glenn Greenwald, those are actual journals, journalists. What the New York Times does is Democrat politics. It, all right, before we get into it, why don't you uh, wreck that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and press that notification bell so you never miss an episode. All righty, away we go. Uh, below is everything you need to know about the jurors. Juror number one, a middle-aged salesman from Ireland who serves uh, as the case's foreman. Now that's interesting. He lives in West Harlem and said he normally gets his news from NBC, uh, I'm sorry, New York Times, Daily Mail, Fox News, and MSNBC. In his spare time, he said he enjoys doing anything outdoorsy. He once worked as a waiter, but has worked in sales for the last three decades. When asked if he was aware of Trump's other criminal cases, he responded, I've heard of some of them. Quote, close quote. I've heard of some of them. Um, keep in mind, these are the, these are the, this is where they form their opinions. The New York Times, Daily Mail, Fox News, and MSNBC. Fox News and MSNBC. Huh. Because those are arguably on two different streams. I mean, speaking politically. I mean, Rachel Maddow, you know, Nicole Wallace, um, Brett Baer, and Sean Hannity. I mean, those are two in completely different news organizations. In fact, I would say that MSNBC is actually not a news organization. They front as a news organization. They are propagandists. By the way, I mean that literally, like they are a CIA propaganda machine that wherever, whatever the government wants them to say, they say it. That's what I believe is happening there. Fox News is still a corporate, you know, news organization, but I, you know, I don't want to waste too much time on this. I just want you to see where they're creating their worldview, in particular with regard to Donald Trump. Juror two did not realize that she could be a juror on Trump's criminal trial when she reported for jury duty on Monday. Quote, 
I didn't know I was walking into this, she said on Tuesday. She currently works as an oncology nurse at a major hospital in New York, a native New Yorker, and currently lives on the Upper East Side with her fiancé and enjoys taking her dog for walks in the park. She said that she gets her news from the New York Times, CNN, Google, and Facebook. New York Times, CNN, Google, and Facebook all of which are far left propagandists. I, I, I want you to see how the print media and social media is absolutely in control of our electorate and who gets voted to be president. Juror three is a corporate, uh, corporate attorney who moved to New York from Oregon five years ago. He has worked at two major white shoe law firms in New York. For those of you who don't know what a white shoe firm is, and I just learned about it, by the way, um, those are those uh, law firms that are, you know, only Ivy League lawyers work there. Only the upper, upper echelon work there. These are, you know, hedge fund managers. These are like the top tier lawyers, like kind of like the place I worked at. Anyway, he said he normally gets his news from the New York Times, Wall Street Journal, and Google. In his spare time, he said he enjoys hiking and running. When asked about the case, he suggested that he could infer the former president's intent without reading his mind. Hmm. Let me read that again. When asked about the case, he suggested that he could infer the former president's intent without reading his mind. However, he was embarrassed to admit he was not very familiar with all the allegations against the former president. Quote, I am actually not super familiar with other charge with the other charges. I don't really follow the news that closely. A little embarrass embarrassing to say. Um, hang on a second. That's pot. That's possible. Dare I say even probable. Um, if he is part of these firms, the one thing I can tell you with, I, I know this for a fact. They work extremely long hours. They are, that, that's, that's how I knew that Michael Avenatti wasn't doing real lawyer work because he was on television every single stinking day. It's like, how in the world are you getting the work done? Because I've seen real lawyers work. And trust me, man, they are at it 24-7. It never stops, by the way. It never stops. There's always another case. There's, there, there's always another client. There's always another issue. It, it, it never stops. And though it may be probable that he has no idea what's going on and he doesn't know what's going on with the other charges because he probably he doesn't have any time. I will, however, say this. He moved from Oregon to New York. He moved from blue to blue. Eh, eh, it could be the money, you know, but eh, eh, eh. it's very difficult to move from blue to blue and then not love the blue. Juror four said he finds the former president to be, quote, fascinating and mysterious, close quote. He walks into a room and he sets people off one way or another, the juror said, quote, I find that really interesting. Really, this one guy can do all this? Wow. That's what I think originally. That's what I think. Originally from Puerto Rico. He has lived in the Lower East Side for the last 40 years. He is a self-employed IT consultant who attended one year of college and has been married for a long time. <laughs> According to him, 
He has two grandchildren. Man, when you say I've been married for a long time, it means you know what? I you know just just put 40 years on it. That's 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 good. once you get to 40, it's like, you know what? I, I've been married for a long time. All right. I I I I I don't need any grilling on that. I have no spare time. See? That's what I mean. He says, I have no spare time, he said, when answering the questionnaire. My hobby is my family. He previously served on a jury in a civil case, but could not recall if he reached a verdict. It was so long ago, he said. He normally gets his news from Daily News, the New York Times, and Google. Are you seeing a pattern? Who controls our electorate? That I, that I'm telling you, what Google does, what the New York Times says, what they print, that crap matters. Juror five was the only potential juror who raised her hand when lawyers asked if they had ever heard of Trump's other criminal cases. Quote, President Trump speaks his mind, she said, and I'd rather that than someone who's in office who you don't know what they're thinking, close quote. A lifelong New Yorker. She currently works at the -E ELA teacher in a car charter school and lives in Harlem. She has a master's in education and lives with her brother who works as a basketball coach. In her spare time, she enjoys writing and theater. She normally gets her news from Google and TikTok listens to inspirational podcasts, and sometimes listens to the Bref Breakfast Club radio show. She said that she doesn't really care for the news. She has two family members who worked in law enforcement, including a godfather who worked on as a homicide sergeant in the NYPD. What do you think about all of that? She's got... Family members who work in law enforcement. What do you know about law enforcement these days? <laughs> what do you know about them? I, I, and you can't really take the, you know, from, from today. I mean, from the last, you know, what, two decades. What do you know about them? Uh, most of the time, they're law and order. They're about law and order, kind of like Donald Trump. Um, I am going to guess that this juror is a black woman. I don't know that for sure, but I'm guessing this is a black woman and I mean, the breakfast club, you know, that kind of gives it away. But I think that I think people are about to be shocked as to how many black people are going to vote for Donald Trump. Juror five is a young software engineer who works for Walt Disney company do you need to know anything else she grew up in new york city and lives in chelsea with uh three roommates oh wait a minute she says she gets her news from the new york times and tiktok in her spare time she enjoys playing plays restaurants dancing and watching tv quote i will be a fair and i will be fair and impartial she said in a response to the question about whether trump's candidacy for president presidency would impact her ability to serve as a fair juror i can be fair and impartial she says after reading you know the new york times and tiktok and and working for walt disney i'm i, 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 I can be fair and impartial i'm telling you i'm telling you you gotta put me you gotta put me on the you gotta put me on the jury huh mm-hmm finally juror seven is the second white shoe lawyer who serves on Trump's jury. He currently lives on the Upper East Side and enjoys spending time outdoors with his children. He gets his news from the New York Times, New York Post, Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. Huh. He has never served on a jury. He said he supported some of Trump's policies as president, but disagrees with others. Quote, I don't know the man, and I don't have opinions about him personally. Hmm. Huh. Close quote. Okay, well, there you have it. New York Times, the New York Post, Wall Street Journal, and the Washington Post. 
one could argue that he is getting both sides. You know, and by the way, okay, the Wall Street Journal is not as right as some may, may think, but at least it's, you know, closer to the center, okay? Um, there you have it. What do you think? Do you think, that, here's the bottom line, do you think Donald Trump can get a fair trial? You have to have a fair jury. Now, I'll leave you with this because, um, I just remember this and, and, you know, it, it, it may serves as a, I don't know, a kind of a Geiger counter for you. Um, during the OJ Simpson trial, I remember when they were interviewing, you know, doing what they call the voir dire, um, they ask one potential juror, have you heard about the OJ Simpson trial? Her quote, I don't know nothing about no OJ. Close quote. Really? You don't know anything about OJ? I don't know nothing about no OJ. Really? I mean, because people in Dubai have, have, have heard about the OJ case. People in the Middle East are watching, okay? Everybody knows about OJ Simpson, but you haven't heard. I don't know nothing about no OJ. That's a person that really wants to be on that jury. Why? because they are going to be an activist, not a juror. So you tell me what you think. Um, there are a couple of things there that, 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 that gives me cause for pause, but really you just, you, yeah, you need one good one, one strong one, one person that won't bend. All right, there you have it. Um, that's it for now. Hey, if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe. And if you're following me on Rumble, please press that follow button. And until the next time, God bless.